the ultimate prize, I suppose. Only this year we will see North Melbourne running around with Hewlett Packard on board. Yes, uh, and yes, yes certainly. Well, they weren't rolling out the Footscray theme song when North Melbourne won the flag. <laughs> it's a bit ordinary of doing it to Carlton now. Anyway. Would have to have happened to Carlton, wouldn't it? Eh? Uh, Give you something to talk about. To dig in because I won't be here next week, so I thought I'd just throw that uh, one in for it. Well, uh, that's the ultimate prize they're looking for, boys. <laughs> um, predictions for the year. Now we have this down that they can probably replay in the first week in October for people to have a look at. All right, Justin, I reckon you should take us through your eight and quickly. Right. Thanks very much. Well, I've got to say, Carlton, they have no choice. I think Brisbane's second, or, or if Carlton are going to be premiers, Brisbane will be, only because they've got such good uh, good depth. North Melbourne, well, you know, the good form, so you've got to nominate them. West Coast are always up there. Geelong, well, I feel sorry for them, so I've included them in the, in the eight. <laughs> That's a terrible Sydney did well. I don't think they'll do as well, but I've included them. Collingwood, because, uh, you know, they have a dip at the end of the year in St Kilda, because they're wearing those new jumpers for all their home games. You know, you've given our, our world-famous floor manager, Dixie Duncan, a heart attack by not including Essendon in yeah. your eight. No, I'm just not there. Is Probably. there a reason for that? I'll lose Dixie. Dixie doesn't want to face the camera. Well, actual, actual fact, what I was putting down, I forgot that Essendon <laughs> existed. <laughs> so that's, that's it. Well, I've got Essendon in my Dix, but I've got him down at six, which I reckon is a little bit lower than most people estimate. I think that without Buick, it's going to be a profound loss, and let's touch wood that it doesn't happen. But if Michael Long doesn't come up, uh, they might really struggle with, with a lack of pace. Brisbane, I think they'll win the whole thing. We'll see. Carlton, well... I think they've done everything right to indicate to me that they might be fairly, fairly difficult to beat. See, North, for obvious reasons, West Coast the same. Richmond will be the mover this year. They will replace no. Sydney, I'd reckon. Yeah. Don't know hope? No. No hope at all. No. I thought they looked all right in Geelong. And Collingwood. I, I share your enthusiasm for Collingwood this year. Yep. Well, I've, uh, I won't go through all that, but because uh, we're running out of time. West Coast on top. I think they've got 11 games at home this year, and they've got a, a heap of young fellows over there. I think they're really going to be a West Coast, well, it was, look, it was it's tough. There was three to sides you could have thrown in there. They've all got a tough run home, but I, I've it's thrown just them in there. Good with Terry yeah. Wallace. That's Let's long. have a look at the flag now. Um, I hope you remember what you said then, Claire. Here's uh, the flag predictions. Um, now, Madden's gone for Brisbane. Mars, oh, you've all gone for Brisbane. I've gone for Brisbane. Oh, yeah, if you oh, exclude Carlton, you, I've got to go for Brisbane. It goes without saying, doesn't it, really? The Brownlow. Justin, good to see that you and I think alike here. Well, Corey, Corey McKernan, McKernan or Jeffrey sure. Rush. It, look, just keep your hands down, Corey. Keep your feet to yourself. That's it. And I think you can win it. Well, there's, there's, no, there's no doubt he's a phenomenon, isn't it? I mean, he, is, um, he should have starred in that movie instead of John Travolta. There's, there's, just, there's no doubt about it, but he's a fantastic player and if a season goes by where he doesn't get one of those silly reportable offences he'll he's going to win an award sooner or later he's going to have the focal point competition. everywhere at any stage isn't he well, he's going to have more of a role now too with Capuano out of the time oh, absolutely of the year. yep yeah, I think he's a great H, yep. leading question here how many games will Port Power win what have I said I, I didn't even I tell you, I've got to be truthful here I didn't have a good look at the fixture so I've nominated seven because I think they'll play you know a reasonable amount of games at home <laughs> you the emotional highs will get to them teams will get a bit of shock playing instant so I think uh, seven well, they'll beat you long. Yeah, that, I think they will in round three that'll be one of the upsets of the year to date and they will definitely beat Adelaide at least once this year I've got no, no doubt of us agree. I don't get to mention <laughs> Brett Ratton either so no we're not going to worry. Okay. let's uh, have a look at the <laughs> premiership <laughs> odds if you hurry up I'll let you have 30 no, seconds no, that's fine that's right, silence is gold. Okay, <laughs> finish your bots, I'll keep going. I'll throw it to you for, to, to get something out of it. I've never been on anything that talks if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Fred Ratton doesn't say much. No. Still plenty of pressure on the boys up there at Brisbane just by the same token, making them uh, premiership favourites early in the year. Some good odds here, though. Western oh. Bulldogs, 70 to 1. I wonder what they, they are to make the 8. Oh, I can probably tell you that. Collingwood, 25 to 1. Gary Davis, just a reminder too, will be joining us every no, can't tell you that, sorry. Thursday evening. Uh, and just one little plug I have to get in here for a specific young man. We spoke to Frank oh. Danica beforehand. Uh, for our overseas visitors, uh, you wanted me to say this, didn't you? It's www. Carlton FC, no dot between the Carlton and FC, dot com, dot uh, au. That's what it is. I don't know why I had to do that. Can I also mention the program up in Sydney, if I can, out Anthony Duggan. Uh, Sydney Reserves are playing North Shore on the weekend at the Randwick Army Barracks. They're playing at 10am <laughs> and they're going to be coached, and this is fair, Income coached by Tony Lockett and Andrew Great. Oakley, who's going to be their on-field leader for the day. So they can have play hands at half time. time. We've got to go. We're out of time. We've really enjoyed it over the summer. On behalf of uh, my two friends here at America, who are in stitches oh, I can't believe that happened the, uh, the A-team Dermot <laughs> Gary Rowan will be back Tim Lane still in South Africa I hope to have as much fun as we did over the summer until next time goodbye <laughs>